welcome to yet can, again. <laughs> can we talk? Can we talk? This week we are talking stress. Stress, stress, stress. stress. Something we all probably know a little too much about. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. How do you know when you're getting stressed? Like what is your body? What is your body and stuff? So how do you know? Um, hmm. It's like all the time. No, um, I think I feel it. I probably my heart. I feel it more in my chest first. Okay. Like it's a little hard to breathe. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mine is. I think I don't sleep. Mm. I don't sleep well. My mind will just be going through too many things because I don't have that every night. Mm -hmm. But when I'm feeling stressed, that's what I'll do. How about your daughter when she's stressed? Um, she's probably more like me. Just she she it's talks about anxious. that she can't breathe that she um yeah she feels that shortness of breath okay i was like i think mine handles it um she gets almost a little more controlling and a little more type a <laughs> i'm not sure really i didn't say my, that didn't happen to me I, either and i'm not i'm not really sure how much my boys get stressed <laughs> nothing seems to really get them worked up about anything um but yeah, so that those two, I really couldn't tell you what stress, what even stresses them out. But yeah, Carrington yeah. gets much more, uh, and then it all kind of builds up, and then we'll have kind of a little breakdown, and she gets it all out and seems to feel that emotional purge, and then we'll be feeling um, yes. better. Yes, but that emotional purge sometimes just a really good cry can eliminate stress, and I've been known to back in the day write sounder. <laughs> just to have a real good oh, cry God. and then I felt much better <laughs> I um, actually had gone through a training way way back in the day about stress and they the doctor putting it on had said how do people get rid of stress and you know people would say things like um, I'll take a nap or I'll sit in the, the bathtub and take a bubble bath or have a glass of wine and he said actually the only way to get stress out of your body is with a physical activity so sometimes I which I hate cleaning, but if I'm frantically cleaning, I am probably stressed or ticked. Um, yes, to if get I'm that ticked, out, yeah, I will clean. clean. Yes, um, that's what <laughs> you see me cleaning. Yes, Watch out. my family probably knows. Don't talk to her. She's mad about something. Um, but yeah, physical fitness, gardening, going for a walk, doing anything physical is the only way to actually get that stress out of your body. And there's so much more research on what chronic stress does to mm. children's brains. Um, and chronic stress is that stuff that's continuous all the time. So for children who live in poverty, for children who um, maybe have parents with a mental health issue or substance abuse or live in yes. a high crime yes. rate, that's chronic stress. And living with that every single day and what that does to their brain development, they're finding really mm -hmm. is not great. It's not good for adults, but for us, they, they chalk it up more to your heart and some of your other physical right, right. Um, parts of your body. But with children, it's, it's really doing a lot of issues with their brain so being yeah. aware of those kids that have that chronic stress and how you respond to them and help them with that is going to be really important yeah i mean if if you're a teacher or somebody that's working with kids us for example sometimes recognizing and just even talking to them you know what's going on and um, just like we were talking about back to school anxiety can show itself in different ways stress things that are happening at home if they're here sometimes it's like i have control over this situation and so i'm going to really act out but it has nothing to do with us so it's it is talking about you know finding out what might be going on without being too nosy yep and just recognizing giving them outlets and, and ways to deal with that stress yes. now another thing about why it's important for adults to uh, manage their stress in relation to children is again had a therapist tell us that every family has an emotional thermometer is what she called it and so sometimes it might be the adult but a lot of times it's a child that will actually feel the stress going on in the family before you're even aware that you're stressed and so that's why sometimes you might see you know that's why babies can cry when their mom is stressed out even though the mom might not realize she's stressed the baby's not comforted because they can feel that the mom is stressed and so they might sense things in the house, whether it's about your work or your relationship or you know other family issues going on, that there's probably someone in your house that will sense that before you're even aware that it's building up and becoming stressful. And so they might be acting out or they take it on uh, and those kind of things, you might yep. see behavior. So I thought that was real interesting to think about that every family has got a, an emotional thermometer. That would be Jenna. 
she can feel it in the house and every once in a while I will see her sort of come up behind me and then sort of peek around to see what my lips are doing because she says if I'm stressed they go oh I make like a little pucker look oh. and she kind of knows and then she she'll go oh your lips aren't puckered I thought you were stressed no I'm not so she's feeling it somewhere in the house and it's probably not related to me but she checks to see yeah yeah so Something else to think about is that you may not be aware of it, but learning how to manage and control your stress really does have an impact on your yeah. children, a positive impact if you're controlling it and can be causing them stress if you're stressed and not dealing with it. So find some ways to um, de-stress. Again, something physical is what's gonna be help get it out of your body. And you know, you don't necessarily have to go for some power run just a walk around the block or again cleaning gardening painting something anything that has some sort of physical energy that, that gets it out is yeah. going to be really helpful or white steel magnolias <laughs> see and, that, and that's part of the crying the crying yeah, is a the physical crying, uh, yes, is a physical is. release yeah. so um bubble baths and wine are really <laughs> great <laughs> they're relaxing they don't necessarily get the stress out of you Eggs. in that just sense just sort of band-aids it for a yeah, little bit yeah it kind of helps relax the muscles and maybe quiets the mind for a little while but as far as what's building up in your body not going to be the most beneficial maybe scrub the yeah. tub and <laughs> clean then... the tub and stomp the grapes to make the wine yeah. uh, might help you get that stress out a little better right and then relax with your glass of wine yeah but in demonstrating and role modeling how to handle stress is just really important and nowadays our society has a real big badge of honor with the busier you are and the more stressed you are somehow the better your life is going um, we all, a lot of people t always talk about, oh, I'm so busy, I don't have any time, things are just crazy. And that's kind of a selling point. You're kind of looked down upon if you don't live that lifestyle. Right. right. And that all sends that message to your children on that's what is expected when you're mm -hmm. an adult. And we all know that each generation tends to snowball a little from the last. And that if we think we're living a crazy lifestyle now, what kind of lifestyle oh are they going to lead when they're yes. adults? So yes. role modeling for them on ways to calm down, de-stress, manage life uh, is going to be really important. Yeah. And, and also modeling, um, you know, just follow through. So, um, I mean, an example could be, I'm really stressed out about something else and then Jenna does some small little thing and I just, and then I have to go, okay, what I need to do, role model for her is, this had nothing to do with you. I am very sorry. I was frustrated about something else. And then we have a conversation. I don't continue that stress and then walk away and act like I didn't do anything wrong. You have to show kids it's okay to apologize. Yep. So lots of learning opportunities. Everyone get out, get a nice walk. We still have some nice weather out there. It's get some physical activity. Today. And we will see you next week. Can we talk? Can we talk? Later.